Hi, and welcome to the Hyborian Insider. My name is Erling Ellingsen, and I'm going to take you into the core of Age of Conan. All right, so it's been four months since we launched Age of Conan, and during that time, we've been putting a lot of time and effort into making Age of Conan an even better game by addressing the concerns of you, the players, and just generally improving on the entire gaming experience. Now, our main focus right now is on the live game and making new additions and making new improvements based on what we want to do with Age of Conan, but of course also listening to the feedback that you, the players, are giving us. So today we're going to take a short look at some of the new features and content that is coming into the game in the next few weeks and months, and we're also going to give you an exclusive first look on some upcoming DirectX 10 features. Now one of the things that we've been hearing from you, the players, is that you want more content at level 55. So our first big content update is Emir's Pass, this place that you can see right behind me here. Now there's a dramatic storyline taking place here. You have basically an unholy alliance between the Stygians and the bandits of Atzal, who's invading this place and causing a lot of trouble for the Sumerians living here. Now we're also adding a lot of uh, a lot more Robert E. Howard stories into the game with this update. For instance, here you can see the Frost Giant's daughter running behind me. And I'm sure that you lore buffs out there know what I'm talking about. Now there's also these zone-wide earthquakes taking place throughout Ymir's past. That's actually caused by the son of a god. And as a player, you will actually have to investigate the causes of these earthquakes. Now, though that investigation is actually, actually going to take you into this next place that you can see behind me here. This is the amphitheater, a level 60 plus dungeon that we're adding into the game with this update. Now in this dungeon, you will have lots of new quests and lots of new monsters that you have to kill and some new gameplay uh, mechanics as well. For instance, you have to destroy these, uh, these portals that are spewing out more monsters. So there's a lot of, lot of dramatic encounters. For instance, here you have the Devourer behind me right here. And you will actually have to use this guy, the Devourer, in order to save this guy, uh, the Frost Father. So this is basically a good example of how we're trying to bring more epic storylines into the game with all the content updates that we're going to be adding in the next few weeks and months. So if we look even further down the road, of course, we have even more content coming into the game. For instance, you have Tarantia Commons, a new level 40 plus area to the city of Tarantia, where you'll be taking part in this gang war going on between, between two gangs. You'll be climbing up walls, dropping onto rooftops, sneaking into uh, people's homes, and just living the life that Conan himself did when he was a young adventurer. We're also adding several new uh, high-level dungeons, action-packed high-level dungeons. We have one for the Thunder River area, and we have one uh, called the House of Crom. Now, based on player feedback, we've really uh, taken our time this time around to make it more interesting, to make the dungeons more diverse, more epic, you know, giving them more scripted, uh, more scripted events, adding more traps, and making the boss encounters a lot more challenging. Another thing we're doing is that we're adding new high-level items. So you have, for instance, high-level epic items coming in for all the classes for the first time. One of the most positive areas of feedback that we've been getting on Age of Conan is that it's a fantastic looking game. And right now we're working very hard on bringing that visual quality to the next level with DirectX 10 functionality. Now DirectX 10 is going to allow us to introduce a range of new fantastic graphical features into the game. And today we want to give you a short glimpse of some of those graphical features that will go into the DirectX 10 version of the game. Now, not all of these DirectX 10 features will make it in at the same time, as some of them require a little bit more tweaking and polishing than others. But today we want to give you an overview on how Age of Conan will develop visually over time. Okay, first off you have HDR, or High Dynamic Range Lighting, which is a way for us to create more realistic sunlight effects in the game. We what we want to do is take the real world sun and the beauty it adds to our world and put it into an online world. So you'll, so you'll see more realistic ways of light reflecting off of surfaces. You'll see this sun bleed effect that you can see behind me, just making the light in the world much more realistic. Another thing we're doing is screen space ambient occlusion, which, is, which for us is a fancy way of explaining how we're adding soft shadows into tight areas and corners based on different light sources around in that area. So you can see here going from DX9 to DX10, it's just like a filter of realism that is added, uh, that is added to the game. Improved physics is going to allow us to, for instance, when you're walking through grass, you'll see grass moving around your character, but even also when you're casting spells, you'll see grass violently rippling around your character. But when you're walking through the forest, for instance, you'll actually see trees blowing in the wind and you'll see the shadows from the trees moving dynamically according to the movement of the trees. We're also adding some really cool fancy features like this radial blur effect right here behind me when you do fatality moves. Another thing is volumetric point lights. 
that just adds more size to lights, give them more glow. And when you combine that with volumetric fog that you can see here, it just adds a lot more atmosphere and depth to the different areas. Improved parallax mapping is going to allow us to bring out more details in the text texture surfaces around your character. When you're walking down a cobble a cobblestone street or when you're, when you're walking down a, mount, uh, a forest path, it just brings out the details in the ground around you. Improved specular reflection on water is going to allow us to, when you see the sun and the move, moon moving around you, it'll cast more realistic reflections on the water surface. But the really big difference is underwater, where we're adding caustic simulation that simulates the way light breaks through the water surface, creating this pattern on the seabed. As you can see here, going from DX9 to DX10, it's a staggering difference that is really inspiring us, our content developers to add even more underwater areas for Age of Conan in the future, of course. Now, some of these features will also be available on DX9, but of course, they're tailored for DirectX 10. All right, so that was some of the things that you can look forward to that we're bringing into Age of Conan in the near future. But of course, we're also working on other things, things that are important to mention. For instance, we're working on fixing the memory leaks. We're working on improving the gem system, the trade skill system. We're trying to make sieges more fun and more stable. We're improving loot distribution. You know, all these different things that will make Age of Conan a better game. And of course, yes, I know we have been taking our time with it. The PvP update is about to come up, but we really want this to be right when we put it out there. But anyway, the first phase of the PvP update is about to leave the test servers and go on to the live servers very soon now. Now, please do log on to the forums, provide us with your constructive feedback, and we'll make sure to read it. And until next time, I'll see you in Hyboria.